A month long event is inspiring Angelinos to visit and shop local black owned businesses, and it's all in honor of Black Business Month. Yeah, and we have a lot of folks here with some yummy food. We're going to start with Carmen Diane and Kara Still. You guys are the co founders of Prosperity Markets Black Business Scavenger Hunt. Yes. Very exciting. Why start this and what's it all about? So the scavenger hunt is a month long scavenger hunt and we're highlighting over 50 black owned businesses here in LA. Um, so we put out clues on our website that leads to each business. We also have an interactive treasure map and a word bank to guide you on your search. What about this prosperity market? Explain that. So prosperity market is a mobile farmers market that supports black farmers, food producers and chefs. So we're building our mobile trailer so that we can be a farmer's market on wheels. And in the meantime, we pop up all over LA monthly so that we can create food access and expand the reach of our vendors. And our grand finale market for Black Business Month is going to be on August 27th mm -hmm. at the Obama Sports Complex. Awesome. All right. Well, let's get to work here. I, I see lemonade. I'm very happy about yes. this. Uh, this is Vanessa Punche. She is the owner of La Grind Coffee and Tea Bar. You're in uh, the Mid City area. Correct. Welcome. Good Thank to see you. you. Thanks She's for already said me. I can have all these muffins, so it's good. Thank yes. you. You're welcome. So tell us about your place. So I am a mobile and uh, oh. I have a brick and mortar. Mm -hmm. So we just celebrated our one year anniversary in our space this past weekend. Uh, again, in Mid City, we can be found also online. I also have a coffee truck that I use for catering. So. Yeah. What do you think makes a good coffee? I'm a coffee addict. Oh, well, I'm a coffee snob, so yeah. you've oh, got to come by. Okay. Actually, I'll probably give you a bath. Oh, okay, cool. But um, what makes a great coffee? Um, I think my coffee makes a great coffee. Oh, yeah. It's sourced from Cameroon. It's strong, oh, it's Cameroon. strong oh. rich, bold, flavorful, but not acidic. If you're a coffee snob, snob or a coffee <laughs> enthusiast, you know how important that is. Yes, for sure. Yes. Well, and you're going to be doing the scavenger hunt. Oh, yes. I'm so excited. I'm very excited that they even included me. This is the second year. Um, so, yeah, it, it brings about awareness to uh, small black businesses and, yeah, opens, up, opens us up to the community and gets our reach out even further. Okay. Punche, thank you. Thank you. All right. With me here is Peace Love Reedberg. He is the owner of Grilled Fresh. Uh, tell us about your restaurant locations and uh, why you feel it's important to uh, participate in this. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful thing to grow up in a neighborhood and bring quality food. Grill Fresh uh, is a eclectic fusion concept. We have three locations, one in South Central, one in Hyde Park, and we have one in Long Beach, and we're working on our newest location at the SoFi Stadium. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's very important. Quality food is, is, is what we're about, and uh, we didn't see it in communities where, you know, we grew up at. Talk about this quality food. This is some interesting looking dishes here. So this one right here is our vegan crab cake bowl, which we have leaves stew, black beans, red kidney beans, coconut milk, and veggies, uh, a vegan crab cake that we make in-house, uh, and vegetables where you have zucchini, squash, uh, red bell peppers, and in every bowl we put a fried plantain on it. All right, and this here? This is our grilled salmon with garlic noodles uh, with a plantain and our famous sauce, which is house sauce, which is a honey chipotle uh, spice like garlic blend. And down here in front? That's our newest uh, sandwich, grilled panini sandwich. It was like a, a, a chicken with a uh, plantain inside it as well with some steak fries with a Cajun season on top. And then we have a grilled chicken salad uh, with our vegan dream sauce, which is a plant-based sauce over a grilled chicken. We use halal meat uh, with the veggies and a plantain. Then we have a oxtail bowl. One of our famous oxtail bowls is uh, one of our number one sellers. Uh, oxtails with the uh, same beans, the Caribbean beans are the belief stew, plantain, veggies. And then we have the salad, which is the mixed greens, veggies, and we have a the belief stew. This is what we have everyone come in for when they first come to the restaurant to taste. If they've never been there before, uh, or they come with, if they're a guest, we'll go ahead and let them taste it for their first time. And soon to be served at a Rams or Chargers game. Yes, it is. All Thank right. you very much. Look forward to that. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank you. Great name. Yes. Thank you. That's fun. And then our yeah. next guest is Daryl Walsh. Good to see you. He is the owner and CEO of Band of Vices and Art Gallery in the West Adams District. Yes. How are you guys going to be participating? Well, this is our second year. We're honored mm -hmm. to be a part of it. We are a location where people can come and uh, earn points as part of the scavenger hunt. We're also going to be doing an activation with Prosperity Market on the 20th. Uh, which is very exciting. So bring some of the local businesses in the community. Hopefully we can get 
uh, our friends over here to bring some food. Oh, so that, yeah, exactly. So we're, we're looking forward to that. Um, and you know, we just, we think it's a really important thing. Yeah. And the art gallery is uh, basically where the public, it's open to the public to it, purchase it, art? It, it, it absolutely is, but you don't have to purchase. We intentionally put the gallery in communities that look like us so that people could see, experience, and we have many people come through. In fact, my partner and I often just drag people off the street. Yeah. They see the fine art, they see the high walls and the bright ceilings, and they think, oh, well, no, we said, no, no, this is for you. Yes. Please come and experience. And mm -hmm. uh, we do sell art, so anybody who does want to purchase art, we're happy to sell to them. But uh, we have people come from all over the, the city. Uh, to attend our events and purchase, and they kind of subsidize. Many yeah. people come from other communities and buy the art, and that allows us to stay in business. And art is important. Absolutely. For community, Absolutely. For sure. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Yeah. So basically, when you get there, get yourself a good cup of coffee, cruise around, check out the art, build up an appetite, yeah. and then have a good lunch. Prosperity Marcus Black Business Scavenger Hunt is happening uh, right now through August 27th. For more information, go to their website. You can also follow them on Instagram. Kirk, would you like us to bring you something in to eat? Of course. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I mean, is that a question?